I recently got the Samsung Odyssey G9 49 inch Supra Ultra Wide Monitor. It's on my desk, not the rig, because I predominantly race here in VR. So the screen has mainly been used for Microsoft Flight Sim. This is just a quick comparison video to show the difference between a normal 16 by 9 display, which in this case will be a 65 inch 4K HDR OLED TV, uh, compared to a Super Ultra Wide with the, the pros and cons. So uh, without any more waffle, let's just jump in. Okay, and here it is, uh, real world view, so to speak, it's taken and footage on my phone rather than a screen capture so you can see what it looks like with the naked eye a bit grainy obviously it's in the dark with a phone but you know you can get an idea of how awesome it looks now obviously on a big telly like this the scale is quite significant you get the same amount of information on the screen top to bottom as compared to my super ultra wide but obviously it looks much bigger it's a much bigger display in that regard but uh, you'll see in a moment how much super ultra wide just opens it up it causes slight issues which i'm sure you're already aware will be distortion of the edges a bit of a fish eye problem hdr looks amazing let's say this is a this is an lg oled hdr tv so it looks fantastic and the monitor likewise has got a thousand nit HDR so yeah absolutely love it and here we are super ultra wide on the monitor again just using the, the phone camera and you can see just how much it opens up the image but look as we pan around a little bit you can see it stretches out to the sides some games cope with this better than others um, this may get better support for it in the future uh, this game doesn't even support triple screens, so uh, yeah, we'll see. But at the moment, it definitely is an advantage. Much more immersive. You can see a lot more, obviously. But as I say, it's the same amount of info top to bottom. It just opens it up at the edges. Now, if we go external view here, this shows more of the distortion as you spin it around. But it really is more in your peripheral vision. So it's much more of a benefit than a disadvantage, absolutely. Okay, and here's perhaps the most important example of a 16x9 compared to a 32x9. This is what you get on your normal monitor. And this is what you get on your Super Ultra Wide. So you can see the same information top to bottom, but obviously if you're on a bigger screen, it would look more zoomed in. But just look how it opens up. But you can see slight very slightly having a bit of a fisheye effect uh, if you look at these knobs here slight elongation the uh, engine down in the bottom left shouldn't be stretched out that much but it's much better than just playing like this seriously like this is phenomenal and you can mess about with your zoom I would generally move the height up a bit increase the zoom try and put it real world scale roughly that's all I wanted to do, very quick video. Um, there's not that many videos on 32x9s um, with regard to flight sim. But please, if you want to see anything else, if you want me to talk about the G9, anything specific about it, you know, just ask in the comments and I'll answer or make a video if I need to about it. But anyway, very quick video, that'll do it for now and I'll catch you later. Cheers.